time we started this, like a lot of congregations do, we don't have any kids. And that's when we realized that we didn't have to have any kids. There were hundreds of kids around Sweet Home that didn't have an opportunity to do something like this. One is a little girl, and I got to know about her because one of the other pastors in town uh, would see her at, uh, at the food program that was offered over at the Methodist Church. She seemed to be directionless. She had almost nothing. And when it came time to send her to camp, we not only sent her, and like every once in a while, we'll, we'll send a sleeping bag. We had to buy her a whole wardrobe from the most basic garments to wear. When she went to camp, it was difficult for a couple of days. One of the, the pastors from the, the synod, Kim, who's at uh, St. Luke's, uh, Kim happened to be the campus pastor that week and took this young girl under her wings. And we saw a life blossom. That What they got at camp was love. A whole week of it and I know for me love makes more difference in my life than anything else I get from other people it it, it bolsters my confidence it makes me more generous it, uh, it just makes me feel like I belong in the world I mean that's one of the things they really needed to feel like they belong it works and it makes a difference and originally we were going to do three kids, and then we decided, well, that was too easy, so we were going to do 10. It ended up being 12 the first year, hoping for a few more the second year, and it was 24, and even left us a little bit over to start the next year. Not one, not one penny has been wasted, and uh, we're excited. So now our new goal is every year we want to send as many kids as we sent the year before, plus at least one more, because uh, that's pretty good.